I need to go get food groceries. I need to know if it's worth missing. It's just it's just a story of how I spent yesterday, Kiram. And how two girls dragged me into a lesbian bar. Surely this update yep, fixed yep. flashlights kept. It did. It did take my card. It did. Shit, maybe if I survive it gives it back to me or something. Yo, Jinx Sussy, thank you so much for the second month. Thank you. Bryce, you sh what the fuck is going on, dude? Alright, story time. So the story is very simple. I was having a day off, and I went to my favorite place in St. Pete. I grabbed some random coffee in Russian uh, Reap of Starbucks, and I went to check check on my friends because two of my friends two of my friends work in this mall in like in two different stores um and when i went to see one of my friends we we talked for a while same as always and i was like yo i need a drink i'm gonna go buy a drink you want something she said she did want something but uh, okay that's that's like that's like a side story quest i'm gonna skip i'm gonna i'm gonna skip this side story quest chat i'm gonna tell you the main story Cause the side story quest is how I went to buy some bubble tea, which was like really close, but I, I didn't go for the bubble tea, I went to the, like, to the milkshake place. And there was a girl gamer who owns, who owns the shop, and like she's got a PlayStation in there, like in the shop with a fucking screen, and whenever there is no clients, she plays the fucking PlayStation, so... It's a story about the gamer girl, um, from whom I bought the milkshakes, but let's, that's a side story. Alright. So back to the main story, I went back with the drinks. And uh, I spent I spent I spent a lot of time in the gamer girl store. So by the time I came back to my friend, she was already closing her shop, and she's like, "I'm leaving," and I was like, "All right, I'm probably like gonna go eat or go home or something." And out of nowhere, she invited me to like to go grab a drink and play beer punk with um, one of her friends. And um, I went home. I went home. I dropped the stuff I bought, changed clothes, and then we met up at her place. It actually looks fucking sick. You know, what? let me let me let me show. Like she lives in like she lives in the central. She lives in the central building. Like she lives in the very central Saint P area. And the buildings there, they have like really fucking I don't know immaculate vibe, like. This is this is how the entrance fucking looks like. Like, can you feel the vibe of like I don't know, like semi-Soviet? Like, I don't even know how to explain that. So, went to her place, said hi to her boyfriend. He was working on his uh, uh, thesis or whatever. We talked about games. We talked about tech for a bit. And then the girls got ready and we left, so sadly, sadly he didn't come with us. Sadly, he didn't join us. Um, so, yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea where we're going. And we just went to the, we just went to the club, bar, whatever you call it. Uh, <laughs> we got some drinks. Girls forced me to drink some shots with them, right? And I couldn't say no. So I drank the shots, became a little bit tipsy, not close to being drunk. And then they told me that apparently this is a lesbian bar, only for lesbians, right? However, the girls can take one boy with them <laughs> as long as long as the boy doesn't like fuck around with girls and like he's not rude and doesn't cause any trouble. And my friend was like, ah, he's all right, he's fine, like. So, yeah, we went in. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. We went in. 
<laughs> Drank for a bit, girls danced, and then the time for beer pong came, right? So it was time to play beer pong. <laughs> It was two teams. Um, I think, yeah, like there was there were only girls in the team. At the end, like uh, later on, one other friend, like one other friend of my friend, came in and he was he turned out to be a boy, so I wasn't isolated. <laughs> there was another guy, and uh, yeah, I missed all of my fucking shots in the beer pong. I've done four shots during the whole duration of the game. I've hit zero. However, I drank only once. So my opponent messed messed up three times and they hit only once. So I had to drink one beer. At the end of the day, we won. However, it was kind of fucking scary playing playing against lesbian girls. Like some of the girls seemed very chill, but there was one girl in the opposite team. Like, how do you fucking explain that? All right. If, let's say, we were in a um, typical fucking Isekai anime, right, like, with elves, dwarves, whatever, we were, like, everybody was a fucking elf or a human in the room. And that girl, she was a fucking orc, bro. She was ready to fucking kill. And every single time our team was facing her, she literally fucking stood next to the cup. Like, there was, like, one or two cups left. She, she literally stood next to the cop and she was like She was like fucking doing doing some shit like this She was ready to kill. She had a fucking bus cut, bro. I'll show you. I'll show you the picture of um, Somebody who looks similar to her All right, bro, like Okay, she looked She looked something she looked something like this All right, she looked something like this but with a fucking like like, she had like a fucking... I, I can't explain it. Like, she had like all the fucking hair shaved, shaved off, except the fucking top. And she looked like fucking that. Every single time you were fucking throwing the... Be like, bro. She was scary, bro. If she had like... If that was a fight, I would have lost it to her, alright? She was like twice as big as I am. But the rest of the girls were chill. Um... <clears throat> So, <laughs> yeah, bro, whenever whenever we left the club, we kept joking about this girl with the, um, um, with the guy friend of those two girls. And then we went, like, to a pub. I think there is a pub called Green Goblin. And, like, when you enter it, they've got, like, they've got so many posters and, like, so many books regarding Lord of the Rings, um, Harry Potter, all of that stuff. It was fucking sick, actually. So I went in there, and since I haven't had breakfast the whole day, we ordered a lot of food. And like, all of their dishes, they're like, I don't know, um... Like, one of the dishes we took, it was called like, frog, frog cooked in the oven or whatever. And it turned out to be a large sausage with mashed potatoes and fried onions on top. So like, the menu was uh, pretty funny, and like, you know, you know when you play like, something like Skyrim, right? And you're on your first quest, like you save a, like you save a girl elf or whatever and she takes you to the um to the pub and like you sit down like you start talking she's like oh yeah we live in this world like this guy is bad this guy is good and the music plays like a like whenever we entered there was like a perfect morrowind music playing which was very authentic uh so yeah we said we sat in there for a while my original friend whom i met in the beginning of the day she was drunk as fuck because first of all, she's very, very fucking short. She's like, pff, I don't know, man. I uh, like, I don't know. She's she's like this fucking tall, and um, she also says that she's not Asian. But I keep joking that she's got Asian genes, and Asians tend to keep like tend to be drunk really, really fast compared to Europeans. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I gave her my hoodie, and she kind of fell asleep for a bit. And when we like when she woke up, everybody went out for a smoke, and she told us a she told us an interesting story. Hello, Back about in time for thirty three. Yo, 
Tired Goose, thank you so much for 33. Welcome back. I'm also running Bitbot at the moment. You might be interested in it. Exclamation mark Bitbot. So she told us like a very messed up story about that lesbian club and she showed us a video. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to describe the whole story, but basically the story involved two pretty girls nearly completely naked. Well, like, 99% naked, using their tongues. That's all I'm gonna fucking say. That's not something you kids should watch. Yeah, I don't know if I have any pictures. Oh, actually, yeah. So we also kept joking about our short friend that she looks like... What was what was the group called of... Um, so in Harry Potter, there was a group of people that was, uh, like, fighting all the bad witchers and witches, right? And they were, like, from the Ministry of, of Magic, whatever they were called. So we kept joking that she looks like fucking one of them, bro. Wearing this coat. I mean, it's not... It doesn't look... It doesn't look that good from... From the back. Marauders? I think it is Marauders. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we kept joking that she looks like one of them. Like, she doesn't look like one of them from the back. But from the front, she really fucking does. <laughs> and yeah. And since she was really drunk, we just walked her home. Because it wasn't too far away. And then I grabbed taxi and went home. So that's the story. <sighs> no sex? With who, bro? With lesbian girls? Level one bug dog tag. So what do you say about the story, Kira? Was it worth a wait? Or maybe you expected more details? Epic story? I, I would say that, that was an alright story. Like I left I, le I left a lot of stuff out of it. You expected more DMs are open. Hmm. Yeah, the story. The, the stories are too long to tap it as a DM. Should I want to take this as well? Hmm. Is that an invitation? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh, in that in that lesbian bar, they also have like a. So if you if you if you open their menu, if you look at the menu they have, I think for ten thousand rubles, that's roughly 120, 130 dollars, you can literally take one of their workers out, so it cancels their workday, and like they gotta spend the evening with you. As far as I understood. Bag is in the room with the first kill.
I don't remember where... Where did I drop my backpack? Wait. As getting a hooker? I, I don't think that's anything like fucking sex related or whatever. Just in here, in here like on where? In, in, in the server room? To your left. Thank you, bro. The backpack is to my left. 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 No, it's not here. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Good day, Matrix. I've seen you in chat earlier, though. I think I just didn't say hi. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, little gear. Have a good one, brother. Happy birthday. Leave the bag for good luck. Hell no. There's so much loot in there, man. I'm not leaving it. Have you seen how much loot there is in the bag? There's literally like a mil and a half. Yeah, Chad, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should go out more often so I have more stories like this for you.